I've made a copy of ODB 28 and I'm calling this one ODB 29 count and group. Let's go into queries in design view. I will add our table. I'm going to add in everything with the asterisk and there's one thing here on the left that we haven't looked at yet. That's this function. If I click in this box, it gives me a down arrow. It allows me to either count or no function. I'll select count. I'm clicking off to lock that in and I'm going to run it. Now we only see one record in our result set but it has the number 28, the number of records on our table. So it counted all the records on the table. Let's look at this in SQL view. I'll reformat this. We see we've got select, count, and then the asterisk in parentheses to count up all the records on the table. Running it shows the same thing. Let's go back into design view. Now I want to print out just the employees in our accounting department. I'll do that by selecting department and putting accounting into our criterion. Clicking off that to lock that in. If I try to run this now, it gives us an error because we're trying to print out both the count and we're trying to print out the employees in the accounting department. If I uncheck this, it will select for accounting and print out the count. I'm going to click on another cell just to make sure that's locked in and run it. And now we see we've got nine. And if we want to see who those employees are, we would have to take off this count, change that to no function, run that, and there's our nine employees. Lock that in and run it. Now we're back to our nine employees. Let's look at this in SQL view. I'll reformat this. We have select count again, just as we had before from our table name and the where department equals accounting. And this is a very simple one, but we could have any number of conditions down here, ands, ors, likes, and it will count those records as long as we have count left parent asterisk right parent under our select. I will save this query as ODB 29 query count. And let's close this window. I'm going to open up another query in design view. I'm going to add in the table put in that asterisk again for all the columns and I'm also going to add in the department. Coming down to function for all the fields we have count and no function I want count. If I go to function under department and click that down arrow we see we've got a bunch of fields to choose from. I'm going to select group. Now the reason group isn't available under this first column is because this is that asterisk for all of the fields on the table. In order to group by something, we need to have a specific field, like department. Let's run this. And here we see it's counting by department. We've got department listed here. If we have this unchecked and run this, it just shows the count. That's why LibreOffice is allowing us to have this visible now, because we need it to match up our group by for our count. And if we did this the other way around, unchecking the visible for our employees asterisk, it does the same thing as we had with our select distinct for our department. I'm going to turn back on the counts. We had some other fields under function. Let's add another field to our result set. We're going to add in the hourly wage. And then for our function, I am going to get the average. Running this, let me lock that in, 
shows us the average wage by department and then the number of people in the department. Another thing we might want to do, let's add in that hourly wage again, is summarize. We could find the min, the max. I'm going to summarize and get that total. Running this shows me the average and now I've got the sum of the hourly wages by department. Let's take a look at this in SQL view. I'll reformat this. Here we have our select and our count. We've got the table dot asterisk. The table name is right here and that will come into play in future tutorials when we get into multiple tables. So it's telling us that we're counting up from this table. Then we've got the table employees dot department and we can print that this time because we're grouping by department. Remember when I did it the first time we got that error but since I'm doing it with a group by then we can print the department. Now we've got our average for our hourly wage and our sum of our hourly wage. I will save this as ODB 29 query group. Let's go back over to design view for a minute. If I remove this department and rerun this, this runs it for every record on the table. And we can even take off this count if we want. Rerunning that shows just the average and the sums. I'm going to close this window. I do not want to save it this time. And I'll save our database. Yeah.